Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this episode we'll be looking at cloth simulation and the convert tool. So we just have our 3ds Max model here. We'll just create a box and we'll just set the sizes to 35 by 35 and we can also change the height as well. This is only like 5 meters and this is going to create our collision object or in this case we'll call it a table and we'll create a tablecloth and we just want to center them by changing the values and then create a plane and we'll, again we'll just make it a little bit wider than what we had so we'll do 40 meters by 40 meters and we'll keep the segments at 100 by 100 but that just depends on what you're trying to simulate and how you want it to look um, and how naturally flowing you want it so again, we'll center this to the origin point by changing our X, Y, and Z values. And we'll make it higher than what the table is so it can fall down onto it. So we'll just set it a meter higher, at six meters. Then what we want to do is go to the modify tab and type in cloth. And you can see that that now is becoming a cloth. If we open up object properties, you can see we have different all these different settings here and we can add our objects. So our plane is already in motion. And if we add in our box too, which is what we just created. We can either have it as inactive, which means it won't register, or we can make it a collision object, which is what we want. So the cloth will fold down over the top of it. And our plane, we can change the cloth, and you can change the preset to a variety of different materials, depending on how it will fall. In this example, we'll just use silk. And just click OK. And then if you click the simulate button, it, the current, it'll generate all the different frame rates as you go along. And you can see it developing down the bottom as well and slowly start to move. But we'll just cancel this for now and we'll go to one I created earlier. And we'll just delete these out of the way. So if we select these two geometries here. Oops, in a really awkward spot on my screen. If we just drag this over, you can see that the frames have already been pre-generated and you can see it slowly develop. If you click the video, you can see it falling and folding down over the table like so. And that can change how it looks depending on how many segments you have, as we discussed before. And if we just turn off edged faces, so it looks a little bit nicer and plays through. So now that we've done something like that, we'll just move it out of the way and we'll look at something when it's over multiple objects, as in this example, we've created three cylinders and we have our cloth running through it. So if we have a look and we just object properties and look through it again, we can see that we've added all four objects. We've changed the plane to the cloth and we've changed these three cylinders to be collision objects so that when the video plays and simulates the process, it will fold down over the three and creating lower points where the gaps are like a normal cloth would as you can see here. And if we go through the different frames, there might be a specific point that we really like, or you found something that this might be for a facade and you go, oh, I really like that position. And I wanna save that without it being constantly involved in the video. What we can do is right click, go to convert to, turn it to edible poly. And then that is create became a solid object that when you play the video, it no longer moves. And it's now set in place at that desired uh, view and then from there it becomes like any other surface you create in 3ds max where we can add modifiers to it so let's just for example add a well we'll move it back actually and we can test it over this we'll add a bend tool and we'll just test this out quickly just so you can see that it does that and you see if we bend it you can slowly start to bend and do any other modifiers to it that you may need or want to apply to it as it just operates like any other surface And now if we just select all these and we can move these out of the way as well. And we just look at one last option that we can do. If we select this and take it back closer to our origin point, if we simulate the video, if we go to object properties, we can see that one of the um, cylinders, the middle cylinder has been set as inactive. So just to simulate what that happens then when it is set on inactive and everything else is in play, when you press the video, you can see that it's completely bypassing that cylinder. 
the need for that may vary and may not ever be used. But in this case, just to simulate how that works, you can see that it's just avoided that and now operating and simulating it based on those two cylinders as seen there. And we'll play it one last time. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.